there and thank you for tuning in to Susie Pooh's channel. Today's video is about me working on the allotment with my dog Susie. I will show you the qualities that she has when she's able to stay on the grass and just ponder around in her area. She knows her boundaries, she knows where she can and can't go while I do my jobs on the allotment. And I am currently building a border for my plots. Now this border, it just neatens up uh, the plot and it gives a, a nice, uh, nice look to it. Because at the moment when it rains, the mud just flows onto the path and it creates a right mess. So I've started doing the bordering and I thought I'd show you me doing the bordering and giving you tips and ideas on how to make a border for yourself while you watch Susie uh, be a good girl. So I, I've run out of pallets, so I'm in the, I'm currently dismantling my compost area which was here when I first got my allotment. I'm going to be building another one so it doesn't concern me knocking it down. I'm very lucky actually it's got this, these long pieces of wood. So this is the first one. So with pallet wood you you often get a lot of a lot of nails in the wood and you just flip them out and then you reuse the nails. It saves buying new ones I guess. But I've been using so many nails to make sure my my borders are firm and and, and secure. Um, that I, I've come to the end of my nails. I'm only getting maybe one or two and I need three for each, each section of when I'm nailing them in. So I searched my shed and I got some good quality stainless steel nails and it will just save me a bit of time. I mean I've done, I'd say, over a quarter of my borders already using old nails and there's nothing wrong with doing that at all and I highly recommend it. These stainless steel uh, nails, which are brand new, they'll just save me a bit of time. And time is a is a big factor when working on allotment, trying to get things done in time um, and get planting. Really, we need to. Uh, it's a nice, beautiful day here on the uh, on the allotment with my dog Susie. It's such a joy to take your best friend with you wherever you go. It really is a joy. So. Um, when you've dismantled your pallet, you will get um, often nails stuck in like this. And to remove them, you want to bash them on the uh, on the end that they go through, not on the head, on the other side. And I often use this the block of wood that comes with the pallet just to knock them. Simple as that. Normally they're they're slightly bent or whatever. And then you just flick them out with the hammer where the head is, flick them out, and then you, I mean I've been doing this, I've done all my all my fencing and I've done my borders. Um, so I've I've gotten pretty good at knocking nails out now. So we've got two more down here. Like I said, these ones have already gone through, so I just need to, to flick them out. Might take a bit of mm. There we go. And here's another one. When they've been when they're in there so long and they've been rusted and exposed to rain, they can be quite difficult. But uh, It's, it's all part of the job, I guess. The fun. Nearly got this one out. There we go. Just a bit of elbow grease. So we have, you wanna be wearing gloves as well when you're doing this. You don't wanna mess up your hands, especially in this. It's mucky, it's not very nice. So we have our, uh, our another piece of wood now. So we have our two, this is the main beam that will go, I'll go right across 
it'll go right across and then this I will I will cut into thirds and they will go one at the end one in the middle and then one, another one at the end so guys I've just gone and cut my my wood roughly into threes it doesn't really matter if they're a bit out I mean they're gonna be in the mud for the most part the only part they'll be showing is this much which is the facing of these two and the rest is going to be completely covered in mud so I've put pallet wood that's been cut down the ends maybe or I mean I'm trying to make the most of my pallet wood here so you've got your three and the next stage you want to do is is be putting them on and you want to make sure that these are level 100% so if you can see this Susie's there in the back, being a good girl. So they are in line. They are flush to the end. And then these are, then what we're gonna do is, I'll show you what I used to do. So this one is, is, is an old nail. And then you just, you hit it until it gets its shape, back to its original straight. And then I knock them in so they can't go in anymore. Until they can't go in anymore, which that one can't, that's hitting the ground. And I complete that with uh, two on each one. Uh, but I'm gonna go back to my, well, I'm gonna go to my stainless steel nails. Hit this one in, a new one. It's the first time I've used this actually. So that can't go in anymore. It's much quicker doing this way, guys. But to save the planet, I do recommend reusing your your nails. But like I said, I've used most of mine now. And I want to get cracking on with other jobs. When hitting the nails in, you want to you want to try and get them at a, an angle like this. So nail, nail here and nail there. Not that because they can move. And when they're like this, it kind of keeps them in place. So I'm sure you can see this. So I've done them at diagonals, and then they want to come through this. So when I'm going to lever, I'm going to put them on a leverage now with that block, block of wood I've told you about. Susie's just gone over there. I'll tell her to come back. Susie. There you go. Come here, Susie. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. Down. Good girl. Stay. So you want to slightly leave them up off the ground so you're not hitting the nails onto the, onto the concrete floor. There's one in. Can you see it's come through the other side? Get another one. Another one. So as you can see, all the nails have come through. And then what we're going to do is, you can buy nails to to get the size, but. I find that when I, I beat them down, I hit them down against flush against the wood, it really does give a secure and tight fit. So I will be doing that. So at this point I remove my block of wood, put them flush on the ground, and then I hit the nails back like that. not going anywhere and then you want to repeat the process in the middle I'm going to repeat it in the middle and at the end and I'll get back to you in a minute when that's completed right so I love be being able to show my um, 
my, my skills or my attributes, what I love doing best. I love to show what I do best, and that's just building stuff and being out in nature. Uh, there's, nothing, there's nothing more enjoyable for me, really. And to be able to share it with my dog is, is it, it, there's nothing better. So, when I last showed you, there was one completed, and then I've done the same for the middle and then for the end. And then I'll take, take it over there and I'll show you guys how you get it in the ground. So. So guys, you've got your, your pallet wood and you've put it into a border. And I recommend putting the, the side with the nails on, the side where the, the nails have run out, because I want the, the outside to look the best, because the, ins, the inside is gonna be covered with mud. Um, so I've got the nice, the nice looking pallet wood on the outside, and where there's a bit more nails and it's not looking as nice on the inside. Um, so you want to, obviously done one here, so you wanna line it up, and, you can use a, a normal claw hammer, but I've got a bigger a bigger one here that I use. This says it's easier, it's got more surface area. And then you want to line it up. Best as you can guys. There is knocking around like I said, but people have got to go on with the life, haven't they? like so. You see how close it is here. One step at a time. And then finally. Okay. And you want to go backwards and forwards, keeping it level. You don't want to be like this. So keep going backwards and forwards until you've knocked it into the place where you want it to be. So when you're happy that it's flush and it's against the ground, I'm going to quickly knock it back here. This will make it as tight as possible. And ensuring that it's tight will stop the mud from going through using your, your block of wood. All I'm doing, slightly knocking it until I get a good finish. And I'm really happy with that, guys. Another one added. Just make sure I'm happy with it. And then you can use a shovel, but for quickness, choose the end of this. Really secure. Beat it down, and that's not going anywhere. Solid. You want something that will last for time. You don't want something that will put up and fall over by winter. You don't want that. So spend time knocking good nails in. And if you think you've done a shabby job, just pull them out and do it again. It goes a long way. I'm really happy with that. There we go. Flush, it's level, and most importantly, it'll keep the muck from my paths. So guys, thank you so much for watching the video. This brings me so much joy to be able to, to show you guys what it's like to, to work in allotment with an obedient dog like Susie. Susie is an inspiration to live with and I hope it gives you guys a, a, a passion and a desire to, to achieve this kind of goal with a dog.
And until next time, keep doing what you're doing, keep being a pack leader, and all the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.